How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Foot 2004 once again. It's time for another update information video. Update 15's features have just been announced, all the new cars, the new features and stuff like that. Also a bit about update 16 as well. So in today's video, as usual, we're going to go through all of the new cars in update 15, which we'll be releasing within the next few days, how you can get them, and then all the new features, updates and fixes as well. We're going to get straight into it. So first off is the new festival playlist and the new cars. This month's festival playlist, we've got four seasons, obviously, and here are all the rewards for all of the seasons. For the full series, 50% completion. I apologize if I'm looking down here, that's where I'm reading the cars from. Full series at 50%, you'll unlock the Aston Martin Vanquish 2017, a fairly new car. And then 80% completion, the Porsche 718 GTS. Then into summer, at 50% completion, you'll unlock a pumpkin hat. Quite boring. At 80% completion, the Porsche 356 SL. I nearly said that wrong then. And then in summer, which is the first week, there is a new exclusive car in a championship. I think it was a championship, the Rossian Q1. This was a car that I guessed correctly in my clues video. The second week, which is autumn, at 50% completion, you'll unlock the Bugatti Devo, another car that we all guessed correctly, which because it's obviously a new car. And then at 80% completion, the Skeleton Morph Suit is up for grabs. In the third week, which is winter, at 50% completion, you can get the TVR Tuscan. At 80% completion, the Koenigsegg CCX, an old car. And then a new exclusive car, which is a BMW E92 M3 GTS, another car that I guessed correctly. And then in the fourth week, which is spring, for 50% completion, you can unlock the new Koenigsegg CC GT, which is a car that I didn't guess correctly. I guessed the CCR. CC GT is what we're getting. Awesome car. And then 80% completion, the Porsche 917 LH. So in this seat, in this update, we're getting four new cars, the Koenigsegg CC GT, Bugatti Devo, the Rossi Q1, and the BMW E90 M3 GTS. To be honest, not a bad selection of cars in my personal opinion. Uh, we're getting one in each month by the looks of it. Sorry, one in each week, starting in a few days. Now let's have a look at all the new features, updates and fixes and stuff like that. <music> Now in this update there weren't many features or stuff like that but we do have a new showcase remix I think in summer. Don't quote me on that but it seems like there may be a new showcase remix coming in summer that we've not seen before. There is also a new horizon story so that's one of the biggest new features and um, it's called Upgrade Heroes. Spoiler alert it's about um, tuner cars by the looks of it, classic tuner cars. Um, with cars that get heavily upgraded from its old kind of stock form. It's not a bad story by the looks of it. You get to drive some heavily modified old cars, which is pretty cool. So a new Horizon story is coming, and then a bunch of fixes and updates, and one of them is so good, which I'm going to tell you last. Ha! They fixed an issue where side mirrors weren't showing from the interior view of certain cars. The displacement of the electric cars was showing incorrectly, they fixed that. Daily challenge points weren't adding up correctly in the festival playlist, that's been fixed. I think the fours are on challenge, I mean. And the star card flares weren't appearing correctly, that's also been fixed. And now the thing that they've done that is so game changing for me, the auction house search presets no longer reset every time you go in and out. So if you go to the auction house and search for a McLaren P1 for 900,000 buyout, you click search, nothing's there. You click B, it will save all of the search things. That's so good, so good. One thing's for certain, auction house sniping is gonna be a lot more crafty now you can do that. So honestly, when it comes to new cars and stuff, is my door opening, no it's not. When it comes to new cars and the updates and stuff, that's all we've got. But we did get a bit of information about the next update as well, which I'm going to touch on now. They're talking about blacklisting some cars from rival events and online adventure. They gave the Tractor as an example. For example, in like E-Class or A-Class, B-Class rivals or online adventure, they may blacklist, blacklist certain cars which are too abusive or too like... If, if there are certain cars which are way too annoying or abusive in rivals or online adventure, then go to blacklist them so you can't use them, which lots of people seem to be happy about. Something else that they hinted at in update 16 or the next live stream is that we should save up our Forzathon points and get some Forzathon lives done rapid. So it seems like 
in the next update, update 16 next month, there may be something special to do with Forzathon points. Are we going to get more ways to spend Forzathon points? Are we going to get a special car in the Forzathon shop? I'm not sure. But they did specifically tell us to save up Forzathon points. So there you go. Save up your Forzathon points. Honestly, guys, not going to waste your time anymore. I'm an absolute idiot. I just clicked stop recording by accident. Honestly, guys, not going to waste your time anymore. That's everything that was released and everything that was announced in this month's update. It's going to release in the next few days right now when the first season is summer. Is going to start on Thursday where we can get the Rossi in Q1, then the Bugatti the week after, then the BMW the week after, and then the Koenigsegg the week after that. So if you leave a like if you've enjoyed everyone, subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content, and I'll try to click the stop recording at the right time now. I'll see you all later.